Yeah, a little faster. Yeah. Then you'll have the feather to the stop. The F-35 serves as the backbone of Allied air power, for 13 nations and counting. Playing a critical role in joint domain operations, the fighter brings unprecedented situational awareness, information sharing and connectivity to the coalition. For years, the F-35 has played a major role in the country's economy with the creation of tens of thousands of high-paying, high-quality jobs to American workers as part of a global supply chain. The F-35's impact can be felt in the skies as well as on the production lines of more than 1,900 suppliers around the world. Lockheed Martin provides transformational technology to develop, produce and sustain the F-35. From the production line to the flight line, Lockheed Martin compiles decades of experience to build and sustain the most advanced aircraft in the world. The F-35 program focuses on three core lifecycle areas – development, production and sustainment. The F-35 delivers a next-generation aircraft that will perform missions for decades to come. To help to the customers meet this mission and continue to develop new capabilities to defend against evolving global threats and better produce and sustain the F-35. The F-35 delivers unmatched mission flexibility to the US and to the international partners of the United States of America. Continue to develop new capabilities and systems to ensure that the F-35 dominates the battle space today and in the future. Lockheed Martin continued to add new weapon system to significantly enhance the F-35 to widen the gap between fourth generation aircrafts and the F-35. It increased the internal weapons capacity, added more missions to multi-role and integrated new technologies to the F-35 suite. These capabilities helped make the F-35 the most level and survivable aircraft in the world. Aggressive F-35 production continues to ramp up, with a 50% production increase over the last four years. Lockheed Martin continued to increase the production rates, improve efficiencies, reduce costs and meet 
to delivery targets. At peat production, Lockheed Martin will have the capability to deliver one F-35 every working day. F-35 production across all three variants take place on a common production line. The strength of the F-35 program stems from partners. Lockheed Martin sourced from nearly 1,400 suppliers across 45 states and Puerto Rico. Today, Lockheed Martin uses new manufacturing technologies to more efficiently produce the F-35 fighter jet. These new technologies use robotic systems, automation and data integration to continuously develop a production system. Logit Martin and the F-35 Joint Program Office have agreed that F-35 production will peak at 156 planes per year in 2023 and remain at that level for the foreseeable future. Logit Martin will deliver 133 to 139 aircraft this year, 151 to 153 aircraft in 2023 and anticipates delivering 156 aircraft beginning in 2024 and for the foreseeable future. The company did not say how many of each variant will be delivered. Defense officials have said that the pre-pandemic goal was to achieve deliveries of 155 airplanes a year by the end of 2022. The company delivered 120 F-35s in 2020 versus a planned 141 and it reduced its planned production of this year from 169 to 139. Lockheed Martin officials have chalked up the mission deliveries to supply problems stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic as well as the need to rearrange workspaces and shifts to keep works appropriately distanced during production. However, Production was never halted due to the pandemic. Late last year, the company said it would not accelerate production to quickly make up the missed deliveries, as that would require a hiring surge or added shifts and create demand for supplied materials that would be disruptive to the rhythm of manufacturing the F, uh, F-35. At the time, it expected to make up the missed deliveries by the end of 2023. A company spokesman said the announcement is not an indication that a deal has been reached on lot 15 to 16 negotiations which continue. The announcement also does not indicate that the F-35 has achieved full rate production status, usually declared by the Pentagon after a program has satisfied the operational test community that it meets requirements. The Pentagon delayed the declaration of full rate to allow the F-35 to be integrated with the joint simulation environment, a VAR gaming platform that measures the jet's performance in highly classified conditions. While establishing a peak production rate for the F-35 is, the, is a de facto full rate declaration. Absent the official status, the program can't officially enter into multi-year multi procurement contracts which can reduce costs by buying materials and economic quantities. The F-35 partners already benefit from a block buy approach similar to a multi-year deal. However, by setting a peak production rate, a multi-year deal may be moved. The Air Force has signaled that it will buy about five fewer F-35 per year over the next few years, preferring to wait for the block four jets as they start coming off the production line in fiscal 2023. It did not include the F-35 on its unfunded priorities list.
submitting to Congress, which has added 12 jets per year to the Air Force's request for 48 jets in the last few years. The Air Force currently fields about 300 of its planned 1,663 F-35. If it continued to buy the jets at a rate of 48 per year, it would complete its purchases of the fighter in the early 2050s. Original plans called for the Air Force to buy F-35 at a rate of 110 per year starting in the mid-2010s. Current plans do not forecast an Air Force production increase before 2025 at the earliest. More than 700 Lockheed Martin F-35 fighter jets have been delivered to customers worldwide, and the three variants have amassed more than 430,000 flight hours. Located in North Texas, Lockheed Martin Aeronautics boasts a one-mile, 25-foot manufacturing line that produces the most advanced fighter jet, the F-35. This facility has been an integral part of Fort Worth and will continue to engage with the community for years to come.